I'm here to protect the animals and I will catch you. Good morning everybody, welcome to the Ongava Game Reserve. We're out on this beautiful morning and in the background we've got Abby and the anti-poaching unit with their beautiful dogs and we're gonna go out and have uh, a great experience, quite unique as well. Um, come and join us and let's go and uh, see what they have in store for us. This is my dog, he's very full of love, always kissing me and I like him because he likes me too uh, and uh, I, I choose to be his handler as a, as a dog handler. We have a very dedicated anti-poaching unit on Ongava which consists of many different facets and different departments. The threats that face uh, wildlife today are, are numerous and, and continuous, so it's a constant strive to keep up with the sort of the different threats that are facing us and to try and be proactive in our approach to wildlife protection as opposed to reactive. So it was a natural progression to um, include a canine unit. They add a fantastic asset uh, to wildlife protection and can do so many amazing things that humans just can't do at the moment. It was a long dream in the making to establish the Ongava K9 unit. You have to be 100% committed to a program like this. It's an incredibly specialized unit, so there's a lot of sort of uh, planning that goes into it beforehand, and you need to ensure that you can actually fulfill the role and the program in its entirety. It's not just things like infrastructure and cost, but because these are animals that you're working with, it's not a piece of equipment. The care and the welfare of the dogs is incredibly important. You need to be able to find the right type of dogs um, for the environment and for the different roles that you uh, would like to fulfill. And then most importantly, you, the human element. You need handlers, handlers and carers that can look after the dogs and work with the dogs. Everybody has specialized roles, and so there's a lot of training that goes into it as well. So you need to be able to establish all of those things first in order for a program like this to be effective. So we were very excited. We put a lot of effort and energy into establishing the canine unit. In 2018, we managed to source beautiful puppies. We were then established the canine unit with them. Um, we trained them as multi-purpose dogs, as mentioned before, but then we also specialized them slightly. So Tara, the female, is our tracker dog. She's trained in human scent tracking. And Pan is our scent detection dog, so he's trained in detecting illegal wildlife products and also arms and ammunition. Um, as you'll have seen, unfortunately, Pan, when he was a puppy, he had a freak accident and broke his leg, his hind leg. And despite surgery and pinning it and numerous attempts to try and save the leg, it was unable and the vets um, decided to amputate his leg. However, we decided not to retire him and he's still part of our unit. Um, we are very aware of his disability and so we cater for that quite a lot. My dream has come true. I'm joining uh, Kenan Junet of Ongawa and I'm very happy to do this job. And it's my pleasure from, from God and from my bosses to have this job because it is protecting the wildlife in, in, the, in, in the Africa and I wanted to be the, the one of the heroes in the wildlife resource to protect my animals. Not only for me, but for the generations which is coming. From this work, I am supporting my houses and things, my house and my family, and I'm very happy about it. It makes me proud of to work for Kainan Jonet. When I was young, mostly was our uncle was a rancher, and he was like to discuss me about us, the wildlife and he was come with the pictures and throwing us the things. 
And, and in my life, it was my dream, this one. I was, I was thinking one of the years, one of the coming times, I will be a rancher, the best of the rancher for our Africa. I'm here to protect the animals. Animals, is, there is the recent still, uh, generation still coming. So we have important animals, beautiful animals. We, we get salaries also from animals, jobs because of animals. If there was no animals here, I was supposed to not have a job. And whether dogs working is also very fast and easy to succeed to find a poacher. So I protect the animals, wildlife, and I protect my family, protecting myself, I'm protecting my friends. So someone wanted to come in here in and wanted to steal our animals or want to shoot. We'll get you. The training is quite intense that occurs with the dogs and the handlers. We try to simulate some scenarios for you just to have a glimpse into the, into the life of the canine unit. Obviously in real life it's very, very different. The terrain, environment, the dangers that you're facing are quite real and very harsh. Um, and we ask a lot of the dogs, we ask a lot of them, and they give it all willingly and freely. Same with the handlers. Um, so I think they're, they're just an amazing, amazing addition. Um, the dogs have taught us so much and just add so much value um, to wildlife protection and uh, the fight against illegal wildlife trade that it's, it's just mind-boggling. And the dangers continue and the threats are very real to the teams and to the wildlife. Um, and it's our responsibility to, to continue that protection. And the dogs just bring a, a whole different element and level to that protection, which we just wouldn't be able to do without them. In these tough times when tourism is hibernating, conservation never sleeps. And with that, it's almost an assurance that when you travel back to Namibia again, you will be fascinated by all these beautiful animals in their natural habitat. So please do join us next time on the Ongava Game Reserve for our next episode. <laughs>